Dear students, in this video, I am going to explain introduction, principle, RF value, advantages, disadvantages and applications of thin layer chromatography. Practical aspects of thin layer chromatography I have explained in another video. Link is given in the description box. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Now let's start introduction and history. TLC is the most simple, fast, easy and less expensive chromatographic technique. TLC is used for separation of complex samples whose nature is not known. Generally it is performed before analysis by other sophisticated chromatographic techniques such as HPLC or GC. By performing TLC, we get some idea about the nature of sample and accordingly we can select stationary and mobile phase during the analysis of sophisticated chromatographic techniques. TLC is a routine method of analysis in bulk drug industry that is API industries. TLC is used as a check process to examine the completion of reactions. We'll discuss this part now we'll see history of thin layer chromatography. In 1906, M. Sweat invented chromatography. In 1950, Kirchner used impregnated glass plate coated with alumina and identified terpenes. Then he developed thin layer chromatographic technique. In 1958, Ergon Stahl introduced a standard equipment for preparing uniform thin layers of known thickness. Now we'll go for principle of thin layer chromatography. The separation is based on the principle of adsorption chromatography or partition chromatography or combination of both. It depends on adsorbent, its treatment and nature of solvent employed. The component with more affinity towards stationary phase will travel slow on the plate while the components with less affinity towards stationary phase will travel faster on the plate. The separation occurs due to distribution of solute molecules between stationary phase and mobile phase. In TLC, the stationary phase that is adsorbent is coated on a thin sheet of glass, plastic or alumina as a thin layer. The thickness of layer is generally about 0.25 mm. Sample is spotted on this plate. Mobile phase is allowed to run through the plate and after development, of the plate RF value is calculated for each solute. Now the experiment will look like this. In a chamber the mobile phase is placed and the plate with the sample is placed in that chamber afterwards lead is kept. The solvent will run through the plate due to capillary action and after certain distance traveled by the solvent the plate is removed dried and visualized. After visualization, the plate may look like this one. Suppose this is the TLC plate. The baseline on the TLC plate where the sample is spotted. Suppose the sample traveled this much distance and the solvent traveled this much distance on the plate. Now the distance traveled by solvent is known as solvent front. Now y is the distance travelled by solute from baseline and x is the distance travelled by solvent from baseline. Now by using these two distance RF value is calculated. The formula for RF value that is retardation factor is distance travelled by solute from baseline upon distance travelled by solvent from baseline. Now this formula is used for calculating RF values. RF value is the most important factor in identification of sample. Now we will go for methodology of TLC. The first point is selection of stationary phase that is adsorbent. A stationary phase which gives good separation of given sample mixture is 
selected the selection depends on chemical composition of stationary phase and, and particularly its surface to obtain good separation the mean particle size particle size distribution and morphology of particle must be considered generally for tlc the particle size distribution is 2 to 10 micrometer now here are some examples of stationary phases with predominant separation mechanism and use first is silica gel its uh, separation mechanism is adsorption or partition the exact mechanism is not known Generally, it is used for all type of samples. Next one is modified silica gel. Again, it is used for all type of samples. Alumina, the mechanism of separation is adsorption or partition. It is used for again all type of samples. Kesselger, the mechanism of separation is partition and it is used for separation of sugar samples. Next one is cellulose powder whose separation mechanism is partition and it is used for separation of amino acids, nucleotides and food dyes. So these are few examples of stationary phases which are used in thin layer chromatography. Now we will go for selection of mobile phase. Selection of mobile phase or solvent system or eluent is most important parameter to achieve efficient separation by thin layer chromatography. The selection is based on sample solubility in mobile phase. If the sample is soluble in mobile phase, that is selected for TLC. That solvent is selected as mobile phase in TLC. A more important property of solvent is its ability to get itself adsorbed on adsorbent. That means the mobile phase molecule should be adsorbed on the stationary phase. And there is a competition between solute molecules and mobile phase molecules to get adsorbed on the stationary phase. And this competition will give separation of sample. In normal phase chromatography, where the nonpolar solvents such as hexane, heptane are used, the nonpolar compounds will move up on the plate while most polar compounds will stay on the baseline. And inversely, the polar solvent will allow polar compounds to move on the plate and non-polar compounds will stay on the baseline. The most suitable solvent in TLC is one which moves all compounds up from the baseline and gives RF value between 0.15 to 0.85. Ideally, the RF value should be in between 0.2 to 0.4. If we want to increase the compound's RF value, the polarity of mobile phase should be increased and inversely to decrease the RF value, decrease the polarity of eluent. Now here is the list of solvent with polarity index. Uh, first is water whose polarity index is 9, DMSO 7.2, acetic acid 6.2, acetonitrile 5.8, these are generally known as highly polar solvents. Next is ethanol, polarity index 5.2, methanol 5.1, ethyl acetate 4.4, chloroform 4.1. These are generally known as moderately polar solvents. Isopropanol 3.9, toluene 2.4, pentane, hexane, heptane 0.1 polarity index. Pentane, hexane, heptane are known as non-polar solvents. So this is the polarity uh, sol this, this is the list of solvents with polarity index. Now Stahl strangle. By using this Stahl strangle, we can select stationary phase and mobile phase for our sample. The M end of triangle indicates sample mixture. S indicates stationary phase and E is eluent, solvent or mobile phase. If we know the nature of sample, by rotating the triangle, we can select uh, mobile phase and stationary phase. For example, if our sample is hydrophilic, our stationary phase should be inactive and our mobile phase should be polar in nature. 
by using this tall's triangle it is uh, easy for selection of mobile phase and adsorbent now we'll go for advantages of tlc as we know it is the simple and easy technique it requires uh, less expensive equipments it requires very small amount of sample for analysis the time required for analysis is also very short generally uh, for completion of experiment it requires hardly 20 to 30 minutes it is a sensitive technique disadvantages it is mainly used for qualitative analysis that means identification of sample identification of impurities and all for quantitative analysis generally tlc is not preferred for identification of sample either a standard is required or the rf value of standard is required this is the advantage of tlc the results obtained by TLC are not reproducible. Here the analysis is carried out in open system. So temperature, humidity can affect the analysis. So these are advantages of uh, advantages and disadvantages of TLC. Now we will go for applications of TLC. It is used for separation and identification of natural products. It is very important application of TLC. It is used for identification and separation of acids, alcohols, glycols, alkaloids, amines, macromolecules like amino acids, proteins, peptides, antibiotics, etc. TLC is used for checking the purity of sample. If the sample is pure, it will give only one spot on the TLC plate. TLC is used as purification process. It is used for identifying organic compounds. It is used as a check process, for example, checking the distillation fractions and checking the progress of molecular distillation. One more very important application of TLC is it is used to examine the reactions. For example, it is used in uh, uh, checking the reaction completion in bulk drug industries here suppose this is the TLC plate here we have to spot three samples three spots first is of starting material spot second is reaction mixture and third one is final product and after development if we uh, get the spots developed like this one the starting material has traveled some dis distance reaction mixture has also traveled some distance but it is not matching with the starting material distance and not even it is matching with the final products distance that means the reaction here it is incomplete reaction now after some time let the reaction complete and after some time we have to spot another TLC plate with the three samples that is starting material reaction mixture and final product and after that if we get the tlc plate like this one then we can say that the reaction is completed because the spot of reaction mixture has traveled the same distance as that of final product that means the starting material is completely vanished from the reaction mixture and it is converted into the final product it indicates the completion of reaction if you like my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you for watching my video thank you very much